All right, so back here again on a tutorial. If you look at my page and you're here because of, uh, well, if you look at my most popular, and you're here because of this, the how to stream your desktop live, Ooh. Uh, which if you can see here, which was uploaded a long time ago. Uh, and I've gotten mixed comments about how this doesn't work or it was helpful thanks it worked or doesn't have an option I mean I've had this myself where it, it, it works once in a while but it doesn't always work so I'm here to make an updated version of this video because there's a lot lot easier way of uh, broadcasting on Ustream now than there used to be with Manicam because Manicam's the old way but uh, anywho, the new way is actually from Ustream themselves. Actually, I don't need to close this. You're going to want to go to ustream.tv slash producer. And then you get this page. Stream like a pro. Not into the toilet, but on to the computer. Internet. Yes. And then there's a bunch of different ridiculously priced crap. 540. What the f I mean truck. Anyways, yes. Those are expensive. You don't want those because you probably are not needing that unless you're a big company. But what you want to go to do is you stream producer free. And then choose whatever all OS you have. Windows or uh, Mac OS. Um, and you're going to want to hit download. And it'll download in the little bottom corner if you have Chrome. And to do the broadcasting of the uh, screen, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit further, and you're going to see screencasting. And then you're going to want to get it for whatever uh, platform you're on again, and download that. You'll get little things like this. Uh, this producer and the presenter. Install the producer first. So, you know, click on this, and then you get a, a user account control thing. You want to click yes, and then you get this. But I already got it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Yes, goodbye. And then you're going to install this one. Another additional thing is you're probably going to need, if you don't have QuickTime installed already, you're going to want to install QuickTime because Ustream needs that to, oops, to uh, run. Uh, so you're going to need QuickTime. Another thing is if you uh, installed QuickTime and you start Ustream and you get an error like you're, gonna, you're missing a DLL file, all you need to do is restart your computer. Um, it's just not registering that you installed uh, QuickTime yet, so you have to restart your computer, and then you will find. Um, so, once you got all the programs installed, you're going to want to start the Ustream application. So you want to go start, then Ustream, and then you'll find Ustream Producer. And then it'll start, and you'll be all fabulous. Then you're going to want to sign in, like such. This is my old account. I haven't actually used this since uh, I think I've last uh, did this uh, tutorial in 2008. As you can see, uh, my camera shows up, my webcam. So you can see me over here. Hi there. My, my laptop's over there. I have a, I'm using my laptop right now, not my desktop. So I have it hooked up to a different monitor. So I'm over here. That's why it looks kind of funny. You can see my wall over there. But anyways. You're going to want to start the uh, desktop recording thing, the uh, the desktop presenter. So what you're going to want to do is click the little desktop thing, thing and launch desktop presenter on this computer. And then you'll see a little thing pop up down here. That's just desktop presenter. And then you can change some information. You can change it to just a window or the full uh, resolution. And if you want to do the full screen, whatnot, 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 and then that's all good. But you're going to want to take note of the IP address of the desktop presenter thing here. That's probably the IP of this computer, anyways. But you just you want to know that. You can also find out by hitting uh, Windows plus R, and then CMD, and then IP can IP config. And yes, CIPv4 address, that's the IP address of the computer I'm on is 
1.8168.1.8. But you don't have to do that. It'll sell you right here. That's all you need to make note of. The IP address of the computer you're currently on. So then you're going to want to go into one of these. There. Go to Media. New Desktop Presenter. And then you're going to want to type in 192. Uh, I have a crappy keyboard here. So, uh, I had plugged into the USB. Oops, daisies. Point eight, and then you want to hit enter. So remember, enter in exactly what you see here into here, and then bam! As you can see, desktop presenter is now a source. That was quite a bit easy. You don't need the Manicam software. All you need is the Ustream, Ustream producer software and the additional desktop presenter. And then voila, you can see it presents very nicely. You can see it's going for pretty good there. So that's pretty cool. And then you just hit start broadcasting. And now I'm broadcasting. I'm live. Fabulous. And then you can do whatever you want with it. So there, that's a little that's actually quite a bit quicker. Way I at least I think it's a bit quicker than doing the whole do this, do that, then many can do do this, then that, and then it possibly not working. So that that's all you have to do. Um so it's it's pretty nice. So just remember your IP address of the computer you're on and then just go into media and then new desktop presenter. So yes, you can actually install this desktop presenter on a, whole, a completely different computer and then add that IP address on here and you can progress from a whole different computer. But that's how you do it of your current desktop. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe. I haven't said that for a while. Anyways, you have a great day.